The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot, as well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to a new foes appeared. Today, I am going to talk about the last member of a family of characters I have been covering in a new foes appeal. It's practically hard to describe who this character is, but this is probably going to be the last character in the franchise that I'm even going to cover in a new foes appeal. And if you want to know who the character is, take a look at this. That's right, Funky Kong from the Donkey Kong series is who we are going to talk about today. Funky Kong, I can admit for now, is going to be the last Donkey Kong character I'm covering on a new Foes Appeared. Unless I bring up one character from Donkey Kong 64 or Lord Frederick from Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze as an Echo Fighter for King K. Rule or something, but Funky Kong, the last of the five main Kongs that I'm yet to bring up in a new Foes Appeared. Because Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are already in Smash Brothers, and I've already done Cranky Kong and Dixie Kong before, which only leaves Funky Kong left. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the moveset, the neutral special, we have Funky Bazooka. Funky Kong pulls out his signature weapon, the Funky Bazooka, from Donkey Kong Country 3. He fires a powerful coconut shot straight ahead. You can charge this move for a bigger and more explosive blast, and the projectile travels slowly but deals significant knockback and damage. The longer the charge, the farther the shot travels. For the side special, I went with Barrel Roll. Funky Kong hops on to a surfboard and performs a high speed Barrel Roll forward. The move covers a good distance and can be used to approach or escape. The move deals multi-hit damage to anyone caught in its path, similar to Fox's illusion, and with the final hit dealing a strong knockback, and if used in the air, Funky's surfboard has a bit of floaty effect, giving him a small lift before descending. For the up special, I went with Funky Copter. Funky Kong activates his Funky Copter, which looks like an upgraded version of Diddy Kong's Rock Barrel Pack as he gains vertical lift with full direction control similar to Rob's Up Special. Funky can charge up a blast of air below him for a stronger ascent. It's a versatile recovery option, but be careful as it has limited fuel indicated by a meter above Funky Kong's head. For the down special, we have Surf Sop. Not to be mistaken with the animated film and its crappy sequel from 2017, but Funky Kong slams his surfboard down on the ground, creating a shockwave that spreads out on both sides. The shockwave deals moderate damage and trips opponents on the ground. And if used in the air, 
Funky Kong dives downward with the surfboard, spiking any opponent he hits directly upon landing. The shockwave effect triggers again, and for the final smash, I went with Tropical Tornado. Funky Kong unleashes his wild, beachy energy as Funky Kong hops onto his signature surfboard, catching a massive wave that sweeps across the stage, pulling opponents with a powerful current as he rides the wave. Funky tosses explosive barrels and banana peels, adding chaos to the mix. The wave culminates in a towering, spiralling tornado of sand, shells and surfboards that launches foes sky high with a final devastating spin, leaving them drenched and dizzy as Funky strikes a rad pose on his board. For the alts, I went with classic Funky in his original appearance with a red bandana, sunglasses and blue shorts. The second alt I went with Surfer Funky who would have a neon green tank top with yellow shorts and blue tinted glasses. For the third alt I went with Mechanical Funky with the overalls with a white t-shirt and red bandana. For the fourth alt I went with Explorer Funky with a jungle explorer outfit with a brown hat and boots. For the fifth alt, I went with 80s Funky with a retro neon workout gear complete with leg warmers. For the sixth alt, I went with Funky Flames with black shorts with flame designs and red tinted glasses. For the seventh alt, I went with Tropical Funky with a Hawaiian short and floral patterns and blue shorts. And for the eighth alt, I went with Golden Funky. A gold plated outfit, sunglasses and bandana inspired by a trophy colour scheme. For the classic mode route, I went with Funky Fresh, which Funky Kong's classic mode would be themed after speed and style, which he would face off against opponents more known for their agility, unique movement and extreme sports vibes. So round one would be Sonic the Hedgehog, Round 2 would be Captain Falcon, Round 3 would be Inkling, Round 4 would be Zero Suit Samus, Round 5 would be Little Mac, Round 6 would be Wario, and the final round would be Metal Funky Kong, followed up by Master Hand. And for the stage, I know this isn't a stage from the Donkey Kong series, but I thought Funky Kong in a new foes appeared was the perfect excuse to use Funky Stadium from Mario Kart Wii. Which I know is a battle stage in Mario Kart Wii, but I have used Mario Kart tracks as stages in a new foes appeared before, so I thought I'd just take the excuse. Which Funky Stadium is a stunt arena from Mario Kart Wii repurposed into a smash stage. The stage would feature a large flat arena with ramps on either side. Occasionally, the ramps would activate, creating slopes and platforms that players can use to perform stylish tricks or evade attacks. And there will be a few races as hazards as well. And in the background, we will see cheering Kremlings and Kong family members, as well as a few members in the audience, as in the Mario Kart series, with a giant screen showcasing what's going on in the stage, similar to the Punch-Out stage. So guys, what did you think of Funky Kong? Unfortunately, unless I bring up Lord Frederick, or a character from Donkey Kong 64, I guess this is it for Donkey Kong, because we finally wrapped up with the Kong family, or at least the main five, and unless I have a villain to bring up in a new foes appearance, I'm done with Donkey Kong for a new foes appearance. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on, so you don't miss another video like this one in the future. And I will see you all in a future New Foes Appeared episode. BB-8, out.